Hey, Seitaro. I know what to do now. It's really dumb. Oh gosh, I'm stuck. Uh, yep. You can run, but you can't hide. I don't intend to. In fact, I don't even want to dodge. Uh, hurrah! Get a grip and stop being so damn full of yourself. Be by your side, you're a flat-out creep. You'd sleep with Mr. Gr- Who'd sleep with Mr. Gray Hair? Certainly not me. Hear me? Don't even try anything stupid like this again. Seitaro? Hey, Seitaro! Ah, crap, he's passed out. Wow. Yeah. Seitaro! Ow. My stomach. What the hell do you- <laughs> Ah, Jesus. What the hell, Ramazaki? Ah, I was waiting for that. Oh. Shut up, Baldy, I'm the one. Oh, I, I'm the one, what the hell, and don't go attacking me out of the blue, you goddamn pervert. What? Who'd go after a monkey like you? Say what? You saying I'm lying? No, hold on. My headache kept getting worse, and I couldn't even think. And then I was... An axe. Yeah, I was carrying this. And I... <laughs> you... You remember? You were conscious when you were chasing me? Yeah, I was, but I couldn't stop what I was doing. My body was moving on its own. It's the mermaid. Her curse screwed you up, same as it did Yuta. You still going on with this? There's no damn curse. Oh really? Ain't no curse, huh? Then you saying you attacked me, sane? Hugged me, sane? Said that creepy stuff, sane? <laughs> uh, well... Said you were scared, wanted Rin at your side, all that was in your right mind. Cause that means you... <laughs> Stop! Alright, it's the curse. I'd never be attracted to a bumpkin like you. Hell, even with a curse, I wouldn't believe it. <laughs> For Christ's sakes, that's his reason. I sure don't believe in curses, but given Yuka and Yuta, then maybe there's a chance it's true. That's what I've been trying to say. It's all the fault of the curse. We gotta do something about it to get out of here. Have a plan for what doing something entails? Hell no. So we gotta look for a lead. Alright, I'll help. Maybe I'll read up on the mermaid legend. There might be some books about it. I'll check on it in the study. You look around the mansion and the swamp. You can ask me anything. Wow. Okay. Um. Huh. Can I take this? No? Okay. I should save. Hey, Seitaro, buddy. You're fine. What? I found this. Hey, Seitaro, you got a compass or something? Huh? Why? Found this dirty old map. I want to go to this red mark, but I don't know the directions. I see. Here, borrow this. A watch? What the hell for? Hold it level and point the hour hand and blah blah blah. Oh, gotcha. Thanks. Cool. Now we can do that again. I wonder if Seitaro comes in to save us when the old man locks us in. Better yet, I hope he comes with us. Wait, if he comes with us... Do we all get locked inside the mermaid place? That would suck so much. Items, uh, this one. Now I gotta, uh, do this. Now I'll just start up the engine and get to the other side. <laughs> Ren! Seitaro, what? Going to that spot on the map? I'm coming with you. Don't want you taking a dive again. Ah, uh, shut up. Um, okay, now, 
I'm really wondering. Are they? Wait a minute. Has this ever happened or whatever? Are we gonna both get locked in here? Ground here is weird. Let's dig it up. Hey, Rin. Where's that lantern I gave you? Oh, I broke it a while back. Well, screw you two. You hold that and follow me, alright? Um, oh jeez. I really hope... Are we gonna eat each other? Uh... What? What's up? It's so cold all of a sudden. I'm freezing. Aww, that should help. Let's go. Yeah, thanks. Cool. Um, take the dynamite. Buddy, can I take the dynamite? Um, dang it. Doesn't look locked. Let's go in. We shouldn't. <laughs> the old man's gonna lock us in. And then we're gonna have to eat each other. Yep, that's the bloated corpse. A monster? No, it's not a monster. This is... Is that it then? That mermaid legend. This must be... Saitaro, are these mermaids? Well, in a way, but not exactly mermaids. They're... Make up your mind! Are they mermaids or not? Yeah, they're mermaids, the ones that the legend speaks of. That right. What? Oh, jeez. I thought he was going to kill uh, Saitaro. Uh, wait, Rin, what are you doing? Stay back, Seitaro. I'm a smashing them. Stop it. What's that gonna accomplish? Nothing, I know. But I can't let this crap stand. They killed Yuka and Yuta. How could they have if they... Never mind. What? It's their fault. Yuka and Yuta died. They killed them. Give him back. Please. Rin. Please don't be locked inside. Huh? Not again. Wherever I walk, it's always back here. Damn it, one more time. Stop it, Seitaro. This is pointless. We can't get away. We don't know that yet. If we keep walking, we'll learn the land. And that old man might come back. It's no use. You said it yourself. It's not possible without a map. Three whole days, and we got nowhere. We've been locked in by those mermaids. Okay then, sitting down time. Ophelia. Huh? Those Ophelia paintings are so pretty. She's dying in the water yet looks so beautiful. That's why she's painted so much. I wonder if it hurts to die in the water like that. Don't ask me. If I'm gonna die, it would be nice in the water without suffering. Really? You're right. I go the same way. Really?
Wow. Well, that's an ending. Okay, so that was the same phone call as before. Um, I gotta run back to the house. Utah. Utah, what are you doing here? Why, I'm nursing her, of course. Making sure she doesn't get any worse. Get away from Yuka. Huh? I said get away from her. Rin? What's wrong? Why are you so angry? Maybe you should rest a little. Shut up. Listen to me and get away from her. You've been weird since yesterday. What's this about? Don't blame me for your being annoying. You really aren't much of a woman, are you? Why won't you be more like Yuka? Dying? What? Shut up, you. Get away from her now. Why can't you be so pretty like Yuka is? So docile. Oh, God. Huh? Um... What is it, Rin? Just come over here. Don't worry, I won't do a thing. Y you What are you thinking? Stop screwing around. See, there you go again. There's truly nothing cute about you. Come here. Won't you kindly listen? Stay back. Okay. Ren, what are you doing? Open this door. I don't think this is going to be a happy ending. Hey, open up. Don't you want to get out of here? I'm not mad, so please. Hey, open up. <laughs> this is no time for games, you terrible person. Open the door. Well, you just gone completely nuts. He's been nuts the entire time. Why the hell? Why'd this happen? And when did it happen? Where did it go wrong? What? The paintings. The paintings of Ophelia. Yeah, he was looking at those. Yeah. And he was fine before that. So, is it the paintings? Damn it, I gotta do something. Yeah, we gotta burn the paintings. Okay, uh... There was one over here. Is that all of them? No, wait, there's one in the old mansion, too. Oh, come on, this is ridiculous. This is the last one. Yep. How you doing? Utah. Huh? Oh, shut up, Yamazaki. <laughs> Now what are you on about? Wait, what? Oh yeah, Sitara was in the study. Yuta attacked you? Don't be ridiculous, he'd never do that. You think I'd lie about this? Even you can see what was going on here. The guy had a friggin' knife. He did seem pretty odd yesterday, but maybe he was just really stressed. How'd he seem to you? He wasn't himself at all. He was calling Yuka beautiful the way she is and going on about why can't you be more like Yuka. Oh. Man, my head hurts. Huh? Was I sleeping? Oh, Rin, Seitaro, morning. What are you doing? 
What was that for, Rin? That's what I'm saying. Don't go chasing people with knives. Huh? Chasing you? The hell? You, you playing dumb with me? I know what you were doing in here yesterday. You want me to cram you into the trash? Hey, Rin, stop it. Calm down. Yuta, are you feeling okay? You were passed out. Huh? Really? You've been acting weird ever since yesterday. What happened? Acting weird? Really? Actually, I can't really remember much at all. I just remember looking for a map weird. Um, Yuta, rest here for a while. Me and Rin will look for the map. You can help when you get better. All right. Sorry. Huh. Yuta seems to have calmed down. Should be fine with a little rest. Say, Taro, I'm going out to get help. Wait, what? Being locked in this unfamiliar place, crazy stuff happening to my friends, it's weird that we haven't gone nuts. If I just walk, I'm sure to find a village or something, so I'm gonna look for help. Don't be stupid. I mean, I got crazy lost out there, and you don't have any sense of direction. Oh, shut your pie hole. Oh, <laughs> you just gonna keep looking for a map while Yuka's... Not dead? Yuka's still fine. She's breathing, and... And if you get lost in the goddamn mountains, I'll be the one who has to find you. Don't make extra work for me, Yamazaki. Oh, no pun. I'll keep looking for a map. You look in the old mansion. Don't get any ideas, or else. Hmm. How dare gray hairs boss me around. I can't stand, stand sitting around here. Huh. I'm gonna go. Even walking blind, I'm sure to end up somewhere. Oh, really? Hey, Yuka. Are you okay? Are you just... Yuka's condition hasn't changed. That's good to hear. Alright, let's go into the mountains now. Damn it. Where did Yamazaki get to? She's not in the old mansion. She went into the mountains, didn't she? I told her not to, damn it. And now I say Taro will check in on my good buddy Yuka. How are you doing, Yuka? Good. Now let's check on our asshole friend Yuta. Can I take that knife? My headache's feeling better. I'll be ready to help search soon, say Taro. How about you try fixing the car? Even without a map, we don't want to walk. Okay, got it. We gotta get out of here quick for you good too. Well, aren't you chipper? Mr. Murderer. Knife Yuta was holding. Oh. Got the knife. Um, okay. Does that mean I can do that thing in the old mansion as Seitaro? Or did I just break the game? Let's see before I do anything. Okay, we gotta go into the mountains. Rest, Ren. You're crazy. We'll find a map soon and get out of here. We're almost at a rope's end. We can't leave Yuka or Yuta as they are. Ugh. Seitaro? What's up? It's nothing. Just a headache. Why are you getting a headache? All the paintings are gone. Wait. <gasps> the knife trans teleported into the thing in the IK. Hey, Yuta, are you, I mean, Yuka, are you still doing all right? Hey, you're doing fantastic. I want to say hi to Yuta. Yuta is working on the car. Okay, then. Let's go drown ourselves. Mermaid's Curse, that's ridiculous. Do something productive, like look for a map. We can't leave Yuka like that. You're the one who needs to get a grip. You yeah, obviously there's nothing normal about this. Yuta's going crazy. Yuta's not going crazy. Yuta's fine. It's really the Mermaid's Curse. I keep having countless dreams. Please believe me. Goddamn. <gasps> Seitaro, your head hurting again? Yeah, maybe I caught a cold. Now I'm talking like you ever since I caught a cold. It's my fault because I wandered away. So then don't do it again. I'll check more in the study. You look around too. Yuka's condition may not be changing, but we can't just wait for that old man. Please. 
Got it. The sun's setting, let's call it a day. Can I say hi to Yuka again? Hey Yuka. It's nice to know you're still alive. Now is Yuta still working on the car? No he's not. Hey. He's sleeping with his eyes open. <laughs> what a creep. What the heck? Can I poke Seitaro again? How are you doing? Doesn't look good. He really wrecked himself. Maybe he should have checked himself. After what happened to Yuka and Yuta going nuts. I don't know what to do. What are you talking about? I mean, Yuka's sick, but Yuta seems fine. Please stay by my side. I hate being alone. You're not alone. Yuta's like sleeping in his bed. You could talk to him about guy things. It's really weird how the dialogue doesn't change. And yeah. Okay. You know what? I just realized something. I didn't talk to Seitaro when I did this last time. Tell me about the mermaid legend. Hey Seitaro, about the mermaid legend, what do you think? You figure anything out? What's this all of a sudden? Hey, you got a good head if nothing else. Just figured you might have made something of it. You're getting more on my nerves by the minute. The mermaid legend, huh? Well, it's a weird... <laughs> well, it's weird. A mermaid here in the mountains. And there's a lot of weird bits to it. Weird bits? Legends like this are usually made either to bring people in or keep people away. Like... Couples who come to this lake stay together forever. Kappa live in this river, so stay away. The former brings people, the latter repels them. And this mermaid legend, clearly it's a keeper away. Talking about a curse tells you it's dangerous. Yeah, what about it? What are they keeping people away from? Huh? People wouldn't come here in the first place. There's a village, but not many people. Why a legend that keeps people away? Really don't want them swimming in the swamp? And why make an elaborate story about a man stealing a mermaid and getting cursed? Just saying Kappa would do fine. And there's even more that's off. Like what? The legend says it's part of the mermaid's curse, that girls vanish from the village. Why would girls vanish? If the mermaid had a grudge, wouldn't it be against the men of this family, the Tsuchitas? Why take unrelated village girls? You got a point. Like, a bunch of them. It's clearly been fabricated for something, but what could such an utterly fake legend be for? That's what I want to know. You are very strong, Rin. Now I'll just start up the engine and get to the other side. Hey, you, what are you doing? Going to the spot on the map? I'll go with you. Don't want you drowning again. Hey, stop it. I was kind of hoping for the whole gang to come with us, but... I guess they have better things to do. Well, I mean, Yuka couldn't, but... Utah totally cut off. Hey, there's something weird here. Hey, Ren, where's the lantern I gave you? I broke it. Well, screw you two. What's up? It's cold. I'm freezing. You take my sweater. I'm such a hunk. I'm in front of you now. Dynamite. <clears throat> Doesn't look locked. Let's go in. I really wish we take the dynamite. Yeah. A monster. No, it's a corpse. A woman's corpse. A, a corpse? <laughs> yeah, right, not something that huge and gross. And wouldn't a corpse be rotten? It's not just a corpse. It's preserved with... Adiposir? Adipo- I don't know how to pronounce that. Say again? It's a non-decayed corpse kept away from open air and germs. The body hardens up and won't fall apart. Now I know what that legend's all about. Wait, really? Why don't we believe in the legend? Huh? Cause mermaids don't exist. That's right. There's no such thing as a mermaid. So we don't... So we won't believe a mermaid legend. What if it wasn't a mermaid? Huh? What if it wasn't a mermaid, but just a normal woman? A man from the mountain finds a beautiful girl on the beach. Maybe a diver just swimming along. 
the man falls for her and abducts her to his home. He loved seeing her wife, er, seeing her in the water, so he has her live in a fish tank. Always living in water makes the girl sick, and she dies. And even when her body freezes, she's not allowed out of the water. So, that's how these corpses were made. But wait, why leave the corpses like that? And why the Addy thing? And why are there five of them? If you left a corpse in water for a month, it'd normally be falling apart by then. It's hard to get the right circumstances for preservation. But these corpses are barely damaged at all. They were purposefully preserved right, as they started swelling. Wait, purposefully? You found those old documents, right? About a medicine to stop germs from spreading? What if it was to preserve these corpses? Oh. The man loved her, even bloated and ugly like this. In fact, perhaps this is what he loved most. L love these corpses? There are some strange people out there, with some strange preferences. No one else might ever know them, of course. Perhaps he couldn't give the girl up after she died. He couldn't watch her rot, so he went to a last resort. But that eventually became his goal. What do you mean? The mermaid's curse takes village girls. He couldn't have just one. The pipes in this room must go to the boiler room. He must have set them up to continuously fill the fish tanks with that germicide. These women are Ophelia's to the Tsuchida man. They adore the sight of a woman drowning in the water, such that they drown them themselves. That's crazy. These women were abducted for that? So this is the truth of the mermaid. But I don't understand. Why let that secret be known via a legend? Why create a legend to expose it all? The women. The Tsuchida women. Huh? Wouldn't the Tsuchida women know that their male relatives were off stealing girls? They loathed them, but couldn't stop it. They were frightened of being made mermaids themselves. So they made the legend to keep people away. So at least no outsiders would fall victim. I see. That seems to explain the whole legend. But that doesn't seem to help us much. We don't know how to help Yuka, or get out of here. Let's go, Rin. Seems finding a map and getting out of here comes first. Uh-oh. Wait, what? What? Stop it. I don't know where you came from, and I can't take you back. Leave us alone already. To the earth? That's right. You're not mermaids, just normal women. You don't like looking so hideous. I'll do what I can. Okay, the dynamite. I can use this, right? Yeah, with this. That's super dangerous. You want to blow up the cavern and fill it in? I'm sure this dynamite will do the trick. The fuse is way too short. There's no time to run, you'll be buried alive. Don't be stupid. But I want to do something. I know I wouldn't want to look like that forever. They want to be taken back, to be saved. Please, Sitaro, help me out. No! But you'll do it no matter what I say, won't you? You never listen. I managed to extend the fuse, but it'll be ten seconds tops before it blows. We have to get to the surface before then. What? 
Rin, you wait up above. I'm staying here. I suggested it, so I'm not leaving it to you. Fine. Okay. <laughs> Jeez, because I thought Tidaro was just going to sacrifice himself for a really stupid reason. It run like hell when he lighted, okay? Three. Two. One. Okay, then. Just... Oh my god. Wait. Wait. Wait, we're fine. We're good. <laughs> The ground caved in. That should fill up that cavern. Rin, what's up? Were you hurt? Uh huh? Ah. Uh. Tears. They're not my tears. They're warm. They're the girls. I wonder what happens next. Huh? Rin. Oh my god. Old man. So you filled it in, did you? You damn old coot. You knew all about this and you still invited us here. Our whole family adores mermaids. Even if they loathe us, they cannot seek help. So they needed someone to help them. They've long been waiting for an unknown third party like you. Old man, Mr. Tsuchida, tell me. Did you turn off the power to the house so we couldn't contact the outside? Yes, that's correct. You were in that village all along, right? When I went there, you were there. Yes, also right. Okay, then. The... the hell didn't... what? The hell didn't you do anything? Your family did all this. The mermaids adore us. They had never sought help before. But what my ancestors did was terrible. I wanted to make up for it somehow, but I knew no mere monument would save anyone. Yet, I could not release the girls. <laughs> oh, I loved them myself. So awful and repulsive. Those mermaids too beautiful for this world. You damn fogey. I'm calling the police. Stop, Rin. The statute of limitations is probably up by now. And this old man didn't do it. The fog is starting to fade. I gave Mr. Utah a map to the highway earlier. It should be easy to descend the mountains now. What are you going to do, Mr. Tsuchida? I suppose I'll mourn them for the short remainder of my life. For the deluded men, the departed mermaids, and above all for my family. <sighs> Yuta! Whoa! Rin, Seitaro, listen, the engine works now. <laughs> oh, and the old man came back with a map. We can finally go home. All right, Yuta, help me carry Yuka. We're going as soon as we can. Oh, wait, we should thank the old man. We already said it. Come on, let's go. Oh my god, what happened to Yuka? All right, much easier to see now. We'll be off the mountain in half an hour. What the heck? Um. 
Oh my god. Yuka. Rin? Huh? I... You. <laughs> Yuka! Oh, it's great. Good job. Hey, this was happy after all. We went down the mountain to a hospital, but there was nothing wrong with Yuka. Yuka says she doesn't remember anything, just that she was cold. Yuta's buying a new car, finally. He wants to have one with a GPS, so he's working hard at his job. But I'm iffy on traveling with him again. That guy's an idiot. Sitaro's taken to calling me Ape Woman. I guess that's an upgrade from Yamamonki. How mean can a guy get? <laughs> They're great. I don't have any lonely dreams about being cold in the water anymore. The End Underwater Dream Okay, and that was Mermaid Swamp. It was ghosts all along. That was a really good game. I... I enjoyed it. Very thoroughly. I think I'm gonna play a happier game next. A really quick kinda one-parter thing. Uh... yeah. Bye-bye. <laughs>